good people it's your boy mr rome cowboys fan talk right back like i never left what's up with y'all man y'all feeling good how y'all feeling man hey listen do me a favor man i appreciate all the support if you're not subscribed and you want to join the team hit the sub button join the cartel i would appreciate it man i appreciate all the love i wanted to give y'all a couple more takeaways from otas but just defensive specific and I'll be completely transparent. This video came about from a clip posted by my brother Foots the King. Y'all know who Foots is. One of the Cowboys Giants. He does his thing. I appreciate him. Posted a clip of Marshawn Nealon earlier. Um, just doing some drills. Coming out of his stance. Um, he looks extremely explosive. He looks like a monster. Like, not trying to be funny. Comparing him to our other defensive, like our edge players, it looks like night and day. That's not no slight to Tank. Tank is a beast. A beast. Y'all know I, I, I rock with Tank. And Micah is a unique generational talent. But he, although he's extremely strong as well, he's not as big as a stature. You know, Micah run like, what, 250 max? Max. Maybe 240. I don't think he's 260. Marshawn Nealon is 275, and you see it. And he might be a little bit more than that. You see all of it. You see, he just looks, he just built like a tank and it's good to have that off the edge it's good to have that type of person but when you watch him you go back and watch that clip from the beginning of the video and you're just like yeah we ain't we ain't had that him and sam williams because sam williams looks bigger than micah next to him him and sam williams we're gonna have some monsters coming off the edge this year that rotation micah parsons obviously tank lawrence sam williams marshawn nealon we hands down got the best edge rotation in the division, and I don't think it's particularly close. Um, seriously, you can't name. You're not going to give me Kayvon Thibodeau. I'm not trying to hear Josh Sweat. You're not going to compare Bryce Hupp. Like, I'm not trying to hear. I'm sorry. Like, name the best edges in the division. It starts with Micah Parsons. It goes to Tank Lawrence. Yeah, that Tank Lawrence. Then you can start arguing Sam Williams and then you can start arguing Marshawn Nealon just out of potential. He just looks like a man child. So I'm excited about that. I know it's just the first. It's the media day OTA. So today was the third day. It's, media is not permitted to tweet or anything like that. I don't even know if they're allowed in. You're doing installs and things like that. But it was good to see him. Good to see him come off the line. Good to see um, him using his hands, his footwork, his explosiveness. It was just good to see. Um, then, like yesterday, from other couple little tidbits, you heard that um, Maris Leofau, uh, I hope I'm saying his name, Marius Leofau, a linebacker we got out of Notre Dame, he was working in first team and second team reps. And you're like, what does that mean? I think that is pretty crucial. You got to think. I said this yesterday in the live. I think Damone Clark is on notice. And I ain't trying to look. I feel like Damone Clark being moved um, back to the strong side is going to help him. Shout out to um, John Machota today. He said definitively they're going to work um, – um, Demarion overshone a weak side linebacker, right? Demone Clark is moving the strong side linebacker, and they're gonna have um, Eric Kendricks running the mic, which is great. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like Demone um, Demon Clark played out of position last year, and I think Marius Lewifal is gonna be running Mike and outside linebacker as well, working first team and second team and special teams, of course. But it's good to hear he's already working first team. Meaning it ain't look look we went from deficient at linebacker to having some, some pretty much some strength at linebacker. Kendricks brings that veteran um, leadership. They talked to Kendricks. Um, he talked about the fact that although he knows Mike Zimmer's system, right? He knows Mike Zimmer's system. He was saying that there's still things to learn because Mike has changed some things. This isn't he. We're not running the exact thing he ran in Minnesota or previously. He's made some tweaks. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think that Mike is lying. I think Mike sees the game has evolved. He's, he, he's watched this Shanahan system kind of splinter and be around the, the league. And Mike Zimmer, remember, was always good versus the Shanahan system. Always good versus the Shanahan system. But you see, their offense has evolved. Other people have taken it and made it their own. I think that Zimmer said, let me make some tweaks in my defense so I don't come out here thinking that my old concepts is going to work. And Kendricks is saying, I got to learn them new concepts. But it's dope having a veteran out there. He said, I do know this system, though. That's dope, man. Um, and Maris Lewifile working first and second team is amazing. You know what I'm saying? So you got that. You got Nealon. 
And and another thing that I noticed they, they was talking about Carson, our um cornerback that we took. He's been working primarily outside. That stood out to me. Because I was thinking, are they going to work Carson inside at, at where, where Jordan Lewis is? No. I think Jordan Lewis and Deron Bland are going to hold that down. And I think they're considering playing Carson outside to start the year. Allowing Bland to move back in and digs. I still want, I'm going to say it again. I still will take Gilly, uh, Gilly, I can't even, I will take Gilly back tonight. I would take Gilly back because it, it, it allows um, Trayvon Diggs to come back slowly. I know they say, they're saying that Diggs is on schedule. They're saying that um, Overshown is on schedule. But I ain't going to lie to you, man. The Cowboys say everybody on schedule every year. Like, let's just keep it real. They say everybody's on schedule. I want Diggs to come back right. I don't want to play this game where he ain't quite right or he has a setback. Just take your time. Gilly allows him to take his time. If we don't bring back Gilly, these other players got to step up. That's why Carson has to come in, and he playing him playing outside primarily right now. I know it's just OTAs. I know it's just OTAs. But for somebody coming here, and remind me. I think that's amazing. You know what I'm saying? But to hear our rookies are definitively already playing. You know, to to see Nealon coming off looking like a monster, just looking like something we haven't had on the D line. That's production. That's dope. Because remember, our D line, our our edges is, is good. Our D tackles are the problem but on a lot of passing downs remember you'll wonder like how you gonna get everybody on the field remember tank bumps in on passing downs on passing downs it's osa tank those are the d tackles yeah and then you might have Nealon sam williams on the edge right and you might have micah rushing a gap in this double mug scheme that zimmer likes to run it can really really get scary out there it'll be a different type of, i remember vach used to call it end game and we would bump the ends in and then bring other people off the edge. But right now, and remember, Lu Maris Luefau has blitz capability. Overshone is a blitzer too. He like a missile. So our pass rush downs, the type of mix match capabilities that we're going to have for pass rushing is going to be scary. We are the, our primary goal right now ain't pass rushing. I think we're going to be fine with that. I feel like the combination of players that we have, from Overshone, Lua Fowl, Micah in the linebacker slash edge department, and then us having that edge rotation that I spoke of, fine. D tackles. Carl Davis, Rogers, um, um, what's the, the gentleman, Daxon, um, that we got from Illinois, the undrafted free agent, and we got Osa, and we got Mozzie coming off injury. That room is just kind of, it's scary. I need them to shore that room up, and I'll be confident. You know, but the defense is going to be good regardless, man. We have too many. This is the thing that everybody needs to remember about the Cowboys. We have too many returning good players to just become super trash. We still have some of our deficiencies we have from last year because they haven't shorted it up. But like I've said, I've made a video about it. Ain't nobody really watch it. Like, <laughs> but <laughs> Mike McCarthy said, we are going to sign other players. Not superstars, but players to fill holes. He might as well just say, we're going to sign some D tackles in the running back. He might as well just said that. That's what we need. We just need D tackles. And possibly a running back. But the defensive room, man, I like it. I like it. Neely looks like a monster. I'm liking that Carson is working outside already. I'm liking that Marius um, Louisville is working first and second team. I'm liking hearing that Overshone is moving to the weak side linebacker. And Damone Clark is moving to the strong side. And they're going to have Kendrick running the mic. I'm just liking everything I'm hearing about the team right now. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments about those defensive moves coming out of OTAs. We'll get another media day next week. Where we'll get some more takeaways and some more stories to start to trickle out. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Like I said, if you're not subscribed, hit that sub button. Appreciate y'all. We're trying to get to 26,000. We're on our way. We, we, we almost to 26,600. So if you're not subscribed, hit the sub button. I'll holler.